We're back for session four of how to pick your homebrew. We're going to be covering steps seven and eight on the written instructions, how to activate the pressure pouch. We have the bottle, the beer has been placed in the bottle, the pressure pouch is inside, the valve has been cleaned, assembled and sanitized, and the attaching ring and gasket are used to attach the valve to the bottle. We'll use a coin industrial high flow activation pump which is an accessory that can be purchased and you only need one no matter how many uh, homebrew kits you have. If you do opt to use some other source of compressed air, make sure that it is clean and oil free. I'm going to place the tube into the nozzle of the valve and press it in. It's a friction fit, it's a tight friction fit. And then it's important to press the button all the way in and hold it firmly as you're pumping I can hear the air going into the container. If I let up on the button just a little bit, I can hear gas leaking out. So it's important if you hear gas leaking, either the gasket is not right on the valve or you're not pressing hard enough on the button. So I'm squeezing this, and it seems like a lot of work the first few times you use it, and it may in fact take up to 50 pumps. You can press it on the table if you like. Okay, as you get to the, the pressure starts building up at the container, sometimes it's difficult to keep the hose in. So we've made the tube long enough so it can go to the floor and you can continue inflation or pressurizing by stepping on the bulb. This allows you to get a little higher pressure than you would squeezing it by hand also. Okay, we've been pumping it up to sufficient pressure. Sometimes you can actually hear a little bumping sound on the inside or a sound when the, it starts and then you know it's activated. You can also notice the liquid level is risen. It may be hard to see on the film, but I can see it's risen almost an inch from the pouch initial inflation. Then we let it set for a couple of minutes, which we've already done. Disconnect the hose and then we go ahead and press the button and I'm putting my hand over the nozzle just so I don't get squirt. And you'll watch the level come up and liquid come out the valve. And now we know that the pressure pouch is activated. If, we, if the liquid level would have stayed down and nothing would have come out the nozzle, then you need to repeat the inflation process because you didn't have it up to high enough pressure. On to the next session.